in this video, we are going to consider the derivatives of constants with negative power functions. Before we consider this first question, let's recap. When you differentiate a constant to the power of x, you are going to have that constant to the power of x multiplied by the natural log of that constant. For example, we are giving 2 to the power of x to find the derivative. When you follow the steps on the screen, you are going to get 2 to the power of x multiplied by the natural log of 2. Secondly, for the natural log of x to be valid, x must be greater than 0. Also, the natural log of a negative number is undefined. That is, whenever x is less than 0 or equal to 0, we now say that is undefined. For a natural log to be valid, the x must be greater than 0. Thirdly, recall that the natural log of x is the same thing as log x of base exponential. With this in mind, consider this question. To solve this problem, step number one, take the natural log of both sides. You can decide to use this or you can decide to use this but in this question i'm going to use this next the natural log of b to the power of a is equal to a multiply the natural log of b i'm going to apply this rule to the minus x at the powers that is the minus x at the power will come to the front of this natural log. Here, I've applied this rule. Next, we're going to differentiate both sides. On this side, I'm going to apply implicit differentiation. And on this side, I'm going to apply product rule. Product because these are multiplying functions. Next, differentiate the natural log of y and you're going to have 1 divided by y. However, whenever you differentiate y and not x, you must multiply it with dy over dx according to the rule of implicit differentiation. Remember, whenever you differentiate the natural log of x, you're going to get 1 over x. But when you differentiate the natural log of y, you are going to have 1 divided by y. However, whenever you differentiate y, you must multiply it with dy dx. This is the difference between when you differentiate x and when you differentiate y. Next, here we are going to apply product rule. Next, we are going to keep minus x constant. Next, we're going to differentiate the natural log of 2. When you differentiate a constant, you're going to get 0. Next, we're going to introduce a plus according to product rule. Next, we're going to keep the natural log of 2 constant. Next, differentiate minus x. When you differentiate minus x, you're going to get minus 1. Next, everything here becomes zero. Next, I can rewrite this to become this. dy dx is one entity. Next, y at the denominator. We move over to the other side and multiply everything here. Next, we are going to replace the value of y from the given question. Replacing the value of y this is our dy dx. 
alternatively using the shortcut approach we can differentiate a constant to the power of x firstly you're going to differentiate minus x at the power differentiating minus x is minus 1 next you will copy back the question then you're going to multiply it with the natural log of that same constant differentiate minus x and you have minus 1 next recopy back the question next you are going to multiply it with the natural log of that constant and this is our dy dx recall that i can replace this natural log with the log of base e from the options our answer is a next let's find the derivative of this function to solve this problem step number one take the natural log of both sides next the 8x at the power will come down to the front of the natural log according to this rule next i will differentiate this by applying implicit differentiation and i will differentiate this by applying product rule next differentiate the natural log of y and you have 1 over y however because we differentiated y and not x we are going to multiply it with the y over the x according to implicit differentiation rule i will apply product rule differentiate the natural log of 2 and you are going to have 0 the differentiation of the natural log of any number is 0 next we introduce a plus from product rule next differentiate 8x and you are going to have 8 next 8x will multiply 0 and you are going to get 0 next we can rewrite this to look like this because dy dx is one entity next the y at the denominator we move over to the other side to multiply everything here next we're going to replace the value of our y from the given question and this becomes our dy dx alternatively using the shortcut method differentiate 8x and you're going to have 8 next recopy back the given question next you multiply it with the natural log of that constant and this is our dy dx which is the same as this from the options our answer is c next let's find the derivative of this function to solve this problem step number one take the natural log of both sides next minus five at the powers will come back to the front of the natural log according to this rule next let's differentiate the natural log of y and you're going to have one over y but whenever you differentiate y and not x you're going to multiply it with dy dx according to the rule of implicit differentiation next we are going to apply product rule here because both are multiplying next keep minus 5x constant next differentiate the natural log of 10 when differentiate the natural log of a constant or a number you're going to have zero next according to product rule you introduce a plus next you keep the natural log of 10 constant 
next differentiate minus 5x and you're going to have minus 5 next minus 5 multiplied by 0 is 0 next this y at the denominator we move over to the other side and multiply everything here next replace the value of y from the given question replacing the value of y this is our dy dx alternatively differentiate minus 5x and you have minus 5 next recopy back the given question next you multiply this with the constant without the powers and this is our dy dx which is the same as this from the options our answer is b this is calculus in the next video we are going to consider the differentiation of logarithmic functions